All right, guys. So next up for this morning's chart breakdown is Sundial or uh, ticker symbol SNDL. I have my lines and graphs already set. We're starting from a higher time frame, that being the daily interval. Uh, I have my support and resistance lines, which I'll go over right now for my new viewers. So this top line is our major resistance, and that can be tested. You can see we got rejected over here, over here, and over here, which ultimately pushed us back down to our major support line, which can be tested as well. You can see down here we were rejected. So once it's working as support underneath, it'll work as resistance. So keep that in mind. So over here, we we're working as resistance over here, over here. And once we broke above that, we worked at, uh, it started working at support. We can see that it bounced over here and start, uh, started this upward trend. And then this pushes us to over here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And we were really riding on this support line for the longest time until we came up and came down, retested a double bottom retest and ultimately failed under. And we started to break above it um and initially it just pushed this back down again and you see that we're starting to tr create this reversal to come back up and retest this resistance line so usually i would tell you guys hey this is a great entry to get in as of right now i would say no until we can break above this resistance line so if you were to get in right now you're going straight into a wall just keep that in mind okay so you have to respect these lines there's a reason why i place them here because they're heavily tested okay um so getting it as of right now at the 76 cent area um wouldn't be the smartest idea it would be super aggressive because your first target would be this wall at the 82 cent area uh for my more safer traders the more ideal entry for you guys like i said would be above this 82 or 83 cent area if we can break above that and come back down and retest has this support level to show that buyers are stepping up and that buyers are in control um then that would be the better alternative and then getting in as of right now so <clears throat> if we do do that if we can break above this and come back down and retest this as a support uh have your stop loss on the opposite side maybe have it at underneath these candlesticks at the 76 cent or 75 cent area would be a good stop loss so if we do break back below this uh, we would get tagged out and wait for a better entry okay uh, your first target though would probably be in let me zoom out for day traders and swing traders it'd probably be around the dollar 23 cent area or uh, your second target being the dollar 70 cent area okay but uh, with us being under this uh, support line now it's working as resistance you guys have to keep that in mind and respect these lines okay because we could definitely come up and retest this resistance area and get rejected again and then pull back even farther down to our next major support line which is tested is all the way down here at the 42 cent area which i hope we don't break below that or break down to this but it's definitely possible the way that we're looking so and we're below the trend line on top of that you guys let me go ahead and look at the volume the volume is at 636 so we're almost at a million for before pre-market um guys keep in mind that they they have a earnings report tomorrow okay keep that very very much in mind so when there's an earnings report there stocks tend to be the world the specific stock that has a earnings report tends to be super super volatile okay and so it could either push up or push down very very aggressively so keep that in mind you guys and that is tomorrow so if you plan on swing trading uh just remember that the earnings report is tomorrow and uh we could definitely be moving around a lot so uh just keep that in mind you guys so uh, i hope this video helped i just tried to break down these uh these charts fast and as efficiently as possible as i can uh if i did help you in any type of way please hit that like and subscribe button um it allows me to create this content monday through friday you guys and um so stay tuned for the next uh chart that will break down here which is going to be either naked or zom but like I was saying, you guys, wait for the better entry. Let's wait until we can break above this resistance, okay? Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.